Hello friends, today I am going to introduce medical biochemistry. It is one of the important subject in medical field along with the anatomy and physiology. So what we will learn in this medical biochemistry that is explained in this video. First, what is biochemistry? So it is the science concerned with the chemical constituents of the living cell. Not only that chemical constituents along with the reaction and process that they undergo that all are explained in this biochemistry. So this biochemistry that word is derived from the Greek. So that is bio means life. It is the study of the chemical process in the living organism and that is called as simply biochemistry. So it deals with the structure and function of the cellular components. So structure as well as function. Structure that is defined with the help of particular molecular structure. So that is chemistry part. But function that we have to understand. So which are the important cellular component particularly carbohydrate, lipid and protein. So in this detail of this carbohydrate, lipid and protein, chemistry part and metabolism part that we will look. So simple atherosclerosis that is related with the lipid, diabetes related with the carbohydrate and protein, various disease related with the protein that we will look. But before that looking of any disease, first we will understand this molecule and that is helping to understand that particular disease properly for the nucleic acid that is RNA and DNA. Now other important biomolecules like vitamins, minerals and of course size of water. So all these are important for normal healthy lifestyle as well as normal healthy living cell. So that all molecule in detail you have to understand and that all understanding you can get with the help of this medical biochemistry. Simply what you will understand in medical biochemistry? Carbohydrate, lipid, protein, nucleic acid and other biomolecule. Now, simple understanding of this molecule that is helping to understand health and disease. So, if you know about this biomolecule, other biomolecules like vitamins. So, simply by understanding that vitamin, you can understand these vitamins is helping in which type of reaction and with the deficiency of that vitamin, which reaction will not occur. And that is understanding is possible with the help of this biochemistry. Now, Biochemistry that is also connected with the genetics as well as molecular biology. So genetics simple related with the genes. So particular genes are available over these DNA molecules and from these genes protein are synthesized and that is our molecular biology. So with the help of transcription and translation protein is synthesized. Further this protein is needed for the various function simple protective or immunity function, hormonal function that is regulatory function that all is possible with the help of protein. So all these biochemistry, genetics and molecular biology are integrately correlated or connected with the each other. Further, the basic aim of biochemistry is to describe and explain all chemical processes of the living cells in a molecular terminology. Here I would like to explain that simple molecular terminology how we can explain this diabetes mellitus. All of you know that basically diabetes what happen? Particular glucose level is increased. So what is that glucose? That is one type of molecule. So molecular term. So what are the basic biochemistry? If our glucose level is normal that is called a healthy person. But glucose level is high that is called a disease condition that is diabetes mellitus. So that all terminology all or disease we can explain in the form of molecular terms. The scope of biochemistry is as wide as life itself. So wherever there is a life, there is a biochemistry or living process or living cell there is a chemical reaction is occurring and that is simply called a biochemistry. So wherever there is a life, chemical process are occurring and that is called a biochemistry. The further objective of biochemistry is to attempt to understand how life began. But basically in medical biochemistry, we are trying to understand how this various chemical reaction or process occurring inside our body. Further, most and perhaps all diseases have a biochemical basis. So simple, I have given that example of the diabetes mellitus. So that is one kind of disease. Same way, atherosclerosis that can lead to the myocardial infarction or heart attack. And that is also explained with the help of this molecular term as well as biochemical basis. Further, biochemistry and medicine are intimately related. But rather than medicine, we can say that any medical subject that is closely correlated with the biochemistry. So further, health 
depends harmonious balance of the biochemical reaction occurring in body further i would like to take same example of this diabetes simple we are taking of different kind of food stop after taking of food stop means simple taking of lunch and dinner what happen blood glucose level is increased and after increasing of blood glucose insulin is secreted and that is trying to decrease blood glucose level and that is called normal healthy living process or healthy reaction is, which is occurring normally inside of our body but if that reaction is affected or that reaction is not occurring properly and that is leading to the disease so and disease that is reflection of the abnormality in either biomolecule so in that previous example of diabetes we can say that suppose that the insulin is not produced properly biochemical reaction means insulin is there but it is not able to work properly or biochemical process is not occurring properly and that is reflect in the form of disease so simple what you will learn in medical biochemistry a normal thing about the normal molecules and their normal reaction but if that normal reaction is not occurring properly and that is reflected in the form of disease further this biochemistry and medicine how they are connected that is explained in this chart particular carbohydrate that is we can say that it is closely connected with the diabetes mellitus same way lipid that is connected with the atherosclerosis protein we can say that particular protein is abnormally produced that can lead to the disease one of the example that is sickle cell anemia same way nucleic acid that is dna and rna if there is any abnormality in this dna rna that can be reflected in the form of genetic disease so biochemical approaches are often fundamental as well as it is helping to identify the cause of the disease why that disease is occurring as well as designing appropriate therapy or treatment so basically to understand the disease and by understanding disease we can treat properly that particular condition further the judicious use of various biochemical laboratory test so suppose example lipid profile cardiac profile and that is helping to understand whether the disease is present or not as well as integral component of the diagnosis and monitoring of the treatment simple tumor marker that is very helpful to understand with the progression or what about the prognosis of the particular tumor or cancer so that all are belong to the biochemistry and that we will learn in this medical biochemistry a sound knowledge or thorough knowledge of this biochemistry will help you to become a premier or different among a simple other person so that is very important to understand this medical biochemistry to become a good doctor further you are the creator of your own destiny so if you understand this biochemistry subject properly then definitely you will be a good doctor or very knowledgeable doctor so which book you should refer for this medical biochemistry here i have given some important reference book name you can choose any one or you can choose different topics from this different textbook so textbook of biochemistry by vasudevan by chatterjee and rana sinde as well as lipin court as well as medical biochemistry that is explained by this dr dinesh puri as well as harper's illustrated biochemistry you can choose any one reference book to understand this medical biochemistry so that's all about the basic medical biochemistry and that all will very helpful to understand this medical field as well as to become a good doctor